Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a different look, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time is just do whatever I want on here. I do take a lot of your requests and I get sidetracked and I never get to do what I want. And I was looking through all the Valentine's videos and seeing everyone just doing the thing, excited, how I used to be when I first started on here, like really excited, just playing with makeup, that's all it is about, having fun. And then it kind of got serious, you know, when you get wrapped up in it all, but I really just want to have some fun. So I've picked some, a look that's going to go with me blue jeans. And I really hope you enjoy it. Starting with a bit of primer. So I've already got my foundation on. I'm just going to put this on. It's Urban Decay. I'm using this Bang On Blue. It's a matte eyeshadow by MAC. And it actually, you know it's not matte. It's got a tiny, tiny bit of shimmer. But it's pretty much like a marine ultra blue. It's really nice. I'm going to just pat that on all over. Yeah, I was just looking through all the videos and I felt so inspired again to just think, you know what, I'm going to just do what I did before and that's have fun with makeup. I know it sounds silly, but I'm dead arty and creative and when I do makeup, I get so excited. I don't know why, when I say colour, I really get so excited. And so, you just get sidetracked, don't you, when you, I don't know, when you've done something so long, you also get lost for what shall I do. And I just thought, you know what, I'm wearing blue jeans today. It's like the skinny, you know, the blue skinny jeans that everyone wears. And there's teal, there's a colour, there's plum colours. I'm going to just make a look that I think would go with them. And so I'm going out on it, so it doesn't matter. Once you're happy with your shape, I'm going to go in with a bit of matte black. Beauty UK, this is a really, really cheap palette I found. And I'm thinking of doing something where it, you have to let us know if you like it or not because otherwise there's no point. Because I don't want to bore you to death. But do you like the idea if I go on a little shopping spree and pick up little bits and bobs that are new on the market that I think you're going to like and then do some looks with them. And it'll all be affordable stuff as well. Nothing out of any other department store, just like... Um, out of your supermarkets, um, like high street, high street makeup, so it'll all be affordable for you. Let us know what you think. I want to darken the outer part here, just a little bit. I haven't done anything like this for such a long time, you know, because although I say I want your requests, I do like to do them and it also gives us some ideas but now and again you know when you just you want to just have fun do a makeup look because I don't really wear makeup on a day off from not doing a video because I like to let my skin settle because honestly too much makeup it really isn't good for your skin so I like to let my skin settle and so on the days I do my videos sometimes I'm like oh I want to do that I've seen something on TV or some type of birds just flew in my garden and I had this crazy idea and then I think I can't because I promised I would do this and then it puts us off and because I do that so but no I'm going to just steal it and have fun and I'm just darkening out a corner here just to give it a bit extra you know rather than just being block colour I want to highlight my eyebrows, so I'm using this. It's like a very pale ivory colour. Oops. See if I get the brush right. I just want to touch, not much. And then I'm going to bring that down, whatever's left on the brush. In the inner corner, it doesn't have to be a lot. Just to give a bit of a highlight. But not much, and I promise you it's not much this time. I want the same on the bottom, so I'm going in again with this pencil brush and all I want to do is just make sure I've got a lovely blue line running right across and then I'm going to go over that with a bit of black liner just to make it pop. I like to go on the outer corner a little bit thicker and then I'll taper it in because I find that gives my eye a bit of shape than if I just do it thin, thin all the way across. 
Now for some black liner, I'm using Urban Decay. I love these by the way. They don't rip your skin, they're creamy. I'm going to have to get some more. And put them on the waterline. And they do tend to stay there for a bit longer than normal. So that's good. And make sure you get right in the corner. Obviously if you're copying this look, make sure you get right on the outer corner. Here we are. YouTube is actually a lonely place and I was talking to someone about this a while like a couple of weeks ago and it is a very lonely place to be honest because you're all in your room not doing your own thing and it feels all together but it just takes something like I don't know where everyone puts a video response in and start talking to each other to kind of come together so I don't know I'd love to see how you recreate the looks if you do I mean I don't know would anyone wear this I would but using so Collection 2000 Gram Crystals, this one is Glitz and it's a sparkly silver. I'm lifting it right up and out as well, I don't want to go like I don't want to actually line my eye shape, I want to bring it out like a bit of a wing. I want pink cheeks for this look, so I've gone with this again. It's Powder Blush Tremble by Ela Masca. It is a soft pink. You don't need a lot. And I just want to gently put a little bit on the edge of the cheekbone. And then I'm going to just swirl it round. I can hear a dog barking and I think it's mine. They play in the garden and they make so much noise. I'm like panicking for the neighbours thinking nobody's complained yet but you just don't know. There we are. That's a better pink. And I'm going to pop some false lashes on and then I shall take some photos for you at the end. But stay tuned. If you've enjoyed this one, I hope you enjoy the next one because again, I'm going to indulge in some uber kind of completely off the top, off the range makeup looks, which I really enjoy doing, I must admit. So anyway, see you all in a bit. Stay tuned. Zoom, zoom.